What's up guys? Welcome to lesson one, one words and expressions. Let's do it. Okay, first we're going to start off with number 16 out of the text. And 16 says the total money earned if Lee sold four scarves at $20 each. So here we're trying to figure out exactly how much money he's made for selling these items. So we can start by saying that each of these scarves is just 20 bucks. And he's sold, how many of them? He's sold four of them. Let's make this a little thinner. He sold four of these scarves. So we're simply taking 20 and we're multiplying it by four. It's really important in pre-algebra to try and get out of the habit of using X as a symbol for multiplication because X is now gonna be used as a variable. So this is how we denote multiplication. And what is four times 20? This is 80. So he has made $80. All right, let's move on to number 24. 24, this is an order of operations question. So what we're trying to do here is we, we always got to make sure we remember with PEMDAS, we got to work from within the parentheses first. So here we have happening in the very innermost parentheses, we got 12 minus five, and this is the P in PEMDAS. So 12 minus five gives us seven. So we start there. Now what's the next step? Okay, we've evaluated in those innermost parentheses, but we still got the seven plus four within an external pair of parentheses. Now we have to evaluate that next. So what's seven plus four? That gives us 11. And now we've still got eight here on the outside multiplying in. And then we do the final multiplication. What's eight times 11? That's simply 88. And there's our answer for number 24. Okay, now let's move on to number 32. So this is a bit of a word problem. It says the table shows the prices of admission to the local zoo. And here's our table. Write an expression that can be used to find the total cost of admission for four adults, three children, and one senior. So depending on how they want you to do it, I mean, we could put in variables, but we already know the value, so we don't really need to put in variables. So what's going on here? We've got four adults. So we've got four adults. We're simply taking this four, and we're gonna be multiplying it by the cost of an adult ticket. So that is $8. Now we're going to be adding to that. So that's the price of the four adults. Now we've got our five children. Okay, so we've got, I'm sorry, three children. Three children, what's the cost of children? It's right here, it's five. Three times five. Plus, and finally we're adding on how many seniors? Just one senior. We could have a one there. Multiplying this price right here, four. And there's our expression. And then finally it says, now evaluate it. Find the total cost. So we just carry out the arithmetic. So we started as what's four times eight? That's 32 plus what's three times five, that's 15, plus one times four, that's not 14, one times four, four. We can do this mentally. Four plus 15 is 19, plus 32 gives us $51. And it's, it's easy to do something like 32 plus 19, because it's almost like 32 plus 20, which is 52, but then we take one away. So 51 is our answer for B.